Hi students, um, I just want to talk a little bit about the discussion question that I've asked you cons to consider for this week and suggest to you that the readings that we've been doing under the crisis of faith represent bringing together writers as a community that represents the whole community of Victorian England as it faces the crisis of faith, but also as it expresses its faith and very much so in George Eliot's Adam Bede, even though she's not a believer herself. So it represents a very complex response to uh, this deeply uh, moving uh, topic for Victorians. And so I want to ask you to think about each of the writers' responses to this as they offer, as though they offer a mean uh, uh, persona, a response to the ish, this traumatic experience uh, that you know brings up a lot of emotions and thus allows us to uh, definitely use affect theory in response. So think about Tennyson in memoriam, the short excerpt you get shows how his particular persona is um, almost obsessively following each particular part of his grief, his pain, his terror, his fear, also some glowing belief um, that is usually shattered immediately thereafter. And bravely, he offers that to the Victorian community. Dickens offers a simple faith in the life of our Lord, and it's a humanistic faith. He, he's not interested in dogma. He just, he just likes the idea of love that Christ offered, and I think he essentially views Christ as human. So he offers that to the community. And Harriet Martineau, with her sharp intellect, her acute knowledge and deep uh, mind, it says, you know, I'm a woman, but I don't have to think emotionally all the time. What we also need to bring to the issue is very acute insights uh, based on rationality and knowledge. You have Goss who, um, you know, experienced parental abuse, uh, child abuse in his home um, because of uh, an imposition, an aggressive view of how one must believe. And he tries to find a space for his own response that the, to the crisis of faith that might offer um, some kind of resolve or community to the group. And as at the Elliot quote for this week, she suggests, cannot we be uh, find harmony with each other without necessarily finding union in everything that we believe? And, and this idea, as we move forward as a, a Victorian community, may be the only answer we can expect uh, when not everybody in a community believes the same thing. And so be as um, um, nuanced as you have been in your homework for last week. I was very pleased by your homework, just exhilarated actually, if I'm truthful to my own emotional uh, arc. Uh, be as nuanced as you can be in thinking about these different writers and what they present as um, opportunities for experiencing and responding to the crisis of faith.